Right, welcome back to Pokemon Brown. Um, this is part 39. I've got my new uh, member in my team, which is JJ, to replace Louie, who um, sadly had to die in the last part. Um, had to level up a fair bit. I leveled him up to a Puppetar as well. I think he's got one more level than involved to Tyranitar. Um, I just want to at least have the evolution to Tyranitar on even after I miss the Puppetar one off screen. I think I've leveled everyone else up a few levels. I can't remember their levels in the last part, but they are a little bit more higher level because I think I'm going to take on the final dungeon in this part. So, yeah, I want to try and be a bit prepared. Um, I'm not sure the levels are going to have. I went in that cave which everything was like level 70 at least, or maybe higher 60s. I can't remember exactly correctly, but yeah, that was still pretty difficult. So let's see here, I guess I'll buy some um, potions and that because I'm likely going to be needing them and I'll probably be running around a lot and running back outside and everything so yeah let's take a bunch of hyper potions, I think we have enough full heals and everything, um, obviously I can't take revives so I <laughs> completely ruin the point of the nozzle if I took revives, can't take many full heals but I don't think I really need that many there anyway. And um, let's see, items, items, withdraw, um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take the green orb and see what TM we get for that since we got the red and the blue, so that's good. And um, we got the card key as well, I think we, I did have a, I didn't like look fully ahead at everything there, but I think there was something we need the card key for in the final dungeon. Um, I'm not sure what, but I know, I think there is something. It's not going to be any harm taking it anyway. Um, let's see, it's Hayward City I think we have to go to. Yep. And off to the mark just to get this green orb sorted. Luckily, the, luckily this is actually where the final dungeon is anyway. It's pretty much right beside it, so it's not incredibly that bad. Not much flying around, even it's annoying to get to the top floor of this. Um, let's see a little girl. Um, yeah, Skiver the Green Orb Reserve is Team Twitch. Oh, Earthquake! Earthquake is going to be a very good move. Um, let's see, you can learn it. I'm guessing JJ and Shark Tamer can. Um, Ed can as well. Well, yeah, that's quite good. I'm not sure to teach it to. I'm not going to give it to Ed. I'm not sure if I will give it to Shark Tamer just because Dig is incredibly useful for outside of Bow. Um, so, it's also good for avoiding explosion and everything, so that's good as well. Um, I guess I'm going to have to enter here, I'm really unsure about it, I, like, I feel kind of scared entering, I don't know what is going to happen when I go in. Um, who's first? I don't really want JJ first, I'll put Ed first because Ed is the best and he's like level 69 and everything. Right, we're in here, okay. I'm scared of this guy, I guess I'm going to have to battle him now. Come on, I don't want to though. So. Bikes work well in here. I guess it's a bit of a hint, but I'm just, just beating the emulator up anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. And yeah, they are pretty powerful. These are like going to be probably the weakest kind of people here, so yeah, I'm still a bit under leveled, but I'm not too under leveled. Um, so yeah, it's goodbye, little muck of wheezing. Let's go to um, Shirt Tamer because he can dig in everything, and wheezing's got nothing on little um, Shirt Tamer. Oh, well. That was lucky. Um, I guess I need to try and prepare a bit um, for stuff like that who are likely to have explosion. So, yeah. Not sure if I would have lived it. Well, self destruct, I think. So, not explosion. Explosion will be very deadly. Self destruct, not as much you know, as it's weaker. So, if I'm at full HP, I have a decent chance of actually surviving. Wow, there's a lot of trainers here. Is this cold in here? No, I don't really. Well, maybe because you're not really wearing that much. Uh, Glaceon. You killed Louis. I don't like you anymore, Glaceon. What? What? Whoa. Here. You didn't struggle? Oh, that's weird. Uh, I think I'll just go for Bites. I don't waste too much PP. Um, even though Bites are doing a lot less than Surf, but I don't really want to waste all my Surf, so I'll just go for Bite. And it's, for some reason, it was just struggling non stop, which is weird. Venomoth. Hmm. I was just going to get two random Pokemon to have together a Venomoth and a Glaceon. But I guess the trainers here are going to have more unpredictable Pokemon. And right, let's hope that JG is actually able to not die or anything here. Um, there's a bit of a level difference, but I want... Oh, come on, hit where lock slide. Um, come on, you hit, hit, hit with it. Okay, not enough to actually... Oh, quit using Sleep Powder, I hate you, Venomoth. Um, oh, wake up, so that's good anyway. Um, rock slide in, yeah, JG. On his first on screen battle. Oh, well done, GG. Now, I hope it's not cold in here. It's just, I'm apparently cold. 
and I make other people cold. Wrong way, you suck. I don't care. We're to battle everyone in here anyway. It makes it more fun. It's not as fun as, like, just going through it, avoiding as many trainers as possible just to finish it, and I really need to heal it up here. It's more fun, I think, just to battle everyone, because then you could feel more that you've actually bet it. You've not avoided trainers. There's probably a few trainers maybe here um, I may end up missing, or, like, previously I've actually missed, but... I was trying to battle everyone I see. I need the more experience and it makes it quite fun and wow well, mirror move. I forgot about that. That's quite interesting. Um I hate trainers like this who are just basically stuck to one type of Pokemon, bird catcher, only bird flying Pokemon, so yeah, it's kinda of a bit lame to be honest. Let's go to Shark Tamer because he has Rock Slide and he's a higher level than JJ so I feel less likely for him to die. And he's going for agility. Not that it really matters that much as if we can just rock slide and get rid of that little far fetched. You still set for coming this way. So while well, I wouldn't see if there's anything over here, I want to battle you. I went all my way out there to battle you. Why are you over there? Why are you pointlessly standing there? Getting tired? Not really. I've only battled like three trainers. You're right, my fourth. Okay, that too reminds me too much of Louis. Now, these trainers are like trying to taunt me of Louis's death. One having the Glacier that killed Louis, and one having that Zatu, exactly which was Louis, which is just evil. Um, but yeah, Zatu wasn't really much of a bother. Raichu, obviously, don't want to stand against that. Let's go to Gigi, because I think he's a rock ground at the moment. So, electric attacks aren't going to really do that much. Um, let's try Thrash. Yeah, I tried to go for the electric attack, that was a bit silly. Um, oh yeah, I'm stuck in Thrash, that's a bit annoying. I might go it now. Uh, let's try Crunch, see how much it does. Wow, this seems to be like going for the electric moves, which is really good. Um, the AI is not the best at times. I think it has more trouble with the Pokemon that, that weren't originally in Red. But maybe it doesn't, and it's just being stupid in general anyway. And keep hurting herself. Yay, we went our battle with GG. There is not much experience. Not as much as I thought we would get, though. Um, Let's see, we'll show you. let's try for good. Okay, I don't. I know JG um, could rock slide it and everything, but I'm really annoyed with the stats and that. And I know JG's probably going to be slower than it, so this guy, Gazuki, is going to be faster anyway. I think I might go off screen here and quickly um, heal the team. I'm not sure. The video is kind of split there. Maybe I went off and healed. Or maybe I go away for a second. I guess we'll find out once we actually start a battle. I'm not sure which way to go. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you're, what, just because I'm narrating this and you're just getting annoyed because I keep narrating Okay, never went to heal. I must have went away for a bit then. Because, um, it's still hurt. Okay, okay. Uh, would have made more sense to watch this in advance to make sure. And wow, that was a bit close. Um, let's see here. Who should I switch to? Rapidash. Do, 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 yeah, yes, got a shirt tamer. Yeah, there's a better chance of killing it. I think Joe with Hyper Fang would probably. I don't know how much he'll do, but I don't think he'll kill it. He'll be able to kill it, most likely. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try using everyone else a bit more. Mostly seem to be using Shirt Team or Ned uh, most of the time, just because they have the best coverage and everything, generally. And Guzik is quite good as well. Silver's mostly there just for putting stuff to sleep. Joe's just there because, well, he's Joe, and JJ's there because I needed someone else now for the team, and... Wow, that was not good at all. This isn't good. I don't really have much I could switch into the Ice Beam. Short Timer would probably be the best bet because he's the highest HP. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, that was too close. Um, I had to go for the Hydro Pump, didn't it? But yeah, we're healed up full HP now, so that makes everything a lot better. And um, we'll see what I end up there now while we're at it, just in case, really. I think I'll switch to it. Ed, because I feel safer going to Ed and sticking in with Shark Tamer. Because you never know when a crit's going to happen. I know Ed should be able to take the attacks better because it risks both water and ice, which are two of the attacks it seems to have. Not sure in other attacks, but I guess. Wow, you're really lucky with Hydro Pump there. You constantly keep hitting. Okay, let's heal Ed up a little bit more. Oh, quite hit him with Hydro Pump is annoying. It's not doing that much damage to Ed, but it's still annoying, and my Hydro Pump missed. Yeah, take Hydro Pump to you. Wow, that hardly did anything, even with a crit. Okay, it's confused right as well. That's kind of annoying. I think we're doing more with war attacks and bite. Bite is just a horrible move, and I really should have got rid of it, rid of it a very long time ago, but I apparently didn't because I'm stupid like that. Then um, let's see here. Need to heal John Shirt Tamer up now. Uh, let's try some super potions and out. Okay, Ed could get a bit healing up with that. Oh, JJ's a bit weak as well. Um, 
Let's see who they were appealing as well. Um, there we go, you know, GH Appellate. And on to Shirt Tamer. May as well just use the rest of the super potions up now. Um, you're still here, but you won already. Yeah, I was hearing everyone up because of you. Concentrate your mind. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a psychic key person. Well, they're using Golduck, which are kind of known. I don't, I don't really get why Golduck and Psyduck are, aren't like part psychic, um, considering the abilities and moves they learn and stuff, and how they've been been described and everything, kind of like have psychic powers, but they're just a pure water type. It's kind of weird like that. But what are you going to do about it? Well, I guess you seem to be a kind of psychic-ish person. You have a gold hook, you have the Espeon. Um, let's go for silver. I don't think I've really used it. Oh, you've turned into a bug grass now. Could be a bit of a bother. I do not really. The only thing that bothers is that I can't really use Giga Drain on you, because I'm not really going to be able to do that much. Um, but yeah, you're asleep, so it doesn't even matter at all. Megani, um, hmm. nah, it's just the end, should be fine against it. Light screen, does it really matter? So I don't think I have. I guess grass might be a special type, but I'm going to be using grass. Giga Drain on a grass Pokemon, because it's hardly going to do anything. Even a neutral Pokemon, it hardly does that much. It needs to be super effective, and still again, it hardly does that much. Um, even four times effective actually does a decent amount, but that's like four times super effective, so it's understandable. Why? Um, let's see here, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime! Okay, that was a very bad impression of Mr. Mime. I really liked Mr. Mime when he was in anime, originally. He just seemed so weird and awesome. I'm just surprised he's not got some weird evolution of some sort, which would be kind of freaky, um, I think. But it would still be kind of awesome as well. Just a bigger Mr. Mime. It was a Mime Jr., the pre-evolution, but that's just lame. I don't really like much of the baby Pokemon that much. Um, this feel a bit pointless at times. Wow, it's a region champ. Wow, someone recognises me as a champ. I feel so honoured. Someone recognises me. Oh. Oh, Boiler Raff is like the worst thing for Ed to face because of its typing and the moves Ed has. It resists every single move Ed has. It's only Pokemon off the top of my head that can resist Ed's complete move set. And even then, if it if it's something that a water type or whatever that resists water and ice, bites hardly got to be doing that much anyway. So it's kind of like oh, Politoed. I love Politoed. I loved it a lot more before it got Drizzle and the Black and White. But still, I still love Politoed. It's just awesome. I think it might have been a bit better off if it was in its own evol a bit more of own evolution family or something, or maybe Poliwag evolved into it instead of Poliwhirl. I don't know. Actually, I guess Poliwhirl makes sense as well if I went into it. I don't know. I just feels out of place in the Poliwag family, just seeing how... I guess because it just didn't seem... I guess... I don't know. The colour scheme's kind of random as well, and it didn't seem too much like a Poli um, in terms of the rest of the family, but maybe I'm just being awkward like that. It just seems so random, but... Hmm. Oh well, I still like Polito itself anyway, and it is leveling up quite a bit. I need to try to level everyone else up a bit. So as if something happens to Ed, there's also the fact that there's why be able to use everyone else. It's a bit boring just sticking to Ed the whole time, but it's annoying because Ed is like the safety net of my team. He's like the one who's always secure. It's always secure with him. I know I'm safe if I have Ed. Um, it's got a shirt tamer. I still love Hunch Coral Pure, just black and white. No red whatsoever, no blue. It's just black and white, and it looks like, so awesome. Um, well, I wish I had that. I don't think I've even found any wild Hunch Crows or Murkrows or anything. I might have been in an area where you could get them, but I've not found any. As if you can even get them. Oh, a Togek. Yeah, that's quite awesome. Um, I guess the Togek case will be in the game as well. Togek's not really much of a problem, though. Like, seems kind of weird. I don't know, Togepi piece seems fine, Togepi seems fine, Togepi just looks weird to me. But whatever, let's see, who should we go to? I can't remember what Pokemon they're even using next. Um, which isn't really helpful. Well, it's a Fero. Okay, let's go for some Fero and Fero action. Better move, you're a Joe Pick, me again. Wow, you hardly did anything to me. Um, compared to what I did to you, and there's a bit of a level difference there as well. Eh. What are you going to do about this? What are you going to do? And everyone's just getting so banged up at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Uh, let's just use shirt here off a bit. Um, I was just leaving everyone like that, okay, that's a dead end. I was wondering if there might be an item there or something. I wish to explore the sky! Okay, good for you. Um, good for you. We're getting for you quite a few trainers on this part as well, that's quite good. Watch out! Wow, well, I feel it's like part of a song or something, but I can't, I don't even know what it is. Or if they're doing a song, it's like, watch out! Something, something, I don't know what I'm even doing. And there's run out with PP as well. And then I recently um, try to use everyone else a bit more, because 
that means they have more attacks to use in general. Um, yeah, let's go for the hypnosis Pokemon against the... What? Why did you poison me? Okay, um, well, that's awkward. Uh, so let's go for the antidote. Um, I'll relocate the full heals for other statuses, since I guess I have some antidotes left for poison, Pokeflip for sleep, and anything else for the full heals for potential freezing or paralyzing. I can't think of any other status that full heal will heal. Um, other than that, my chair just squeaked loudly, so it's a bit annoying. A Venusaur, let's see here. Um, I'm just kind of thinking about going to Joe by the week. I'm just worried because he is somewhat frail, so it's kind of annoying. Well, wow, it's charging in sunlight. Uh, it's going to be a pretty powerful solar beam. Um, even though Shark Tamer resists it, so always good in that respect, but still. Um, Razor Leaf, that's not really going to do it. Okay, it's got to get a crit and do more than Solar Beam did, so that's kind of annoying. But, oh well. Oh, Shark Tamer's up to level 69 now as well. Um, Rapidash? Hmm, then one's why let's go to Ed then. Because why not? Everyone wants to go to Ed. Surf it. Surf is still a weird animation, so it's not really like Surf, it's just my, more like stuff coming out the ground and attacking it and everything. Let's go to JJ. Get him a little more experience against the little Paragon too. Psybeam? No, I'm not really going to do too much. It'd be good when I evolve, seeing as I could completely be. I can just laugh away at all the, what do you call it, psychic attacks being part dark, but also means I don't have anything immune to electric. Then do I even have anything that resists electric? Yeah, silver does. But Ed and Gazuki are weak to it, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, this part of gone to is about annoying to take down. Let's go for a little thrash. Yeah, thrash is going to knock it out, so that's good. I wonder when Jesus is actually going to evolve. Um, don't come any closer. Watch out! Don't come any closer. Um, okay, I think that's going to end the part here, so it's went on for a little bit, so I'll see you next time where we do more of the final dungeon.